way to bear country. You'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear. A Berenstain bear. We are the Berenstain Bears. Mama. Papa. Sister. Brother. We appreciate each other. We live in a split level tree. Mama, Papa, Sister, and me. Snuggest buds in a split level tree. Here are more Berenstain Bears. Factual, factual. Big Bob Bear. Professor Oak. Oh, uh who's -huh. tea, honey butter? I'm the mayor. And lots, lots more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Honey cinnamon porridge. Hey, great! Careful, it's hot. Good morning, Papa. <clears throat> Guess what's for breakfast, Papa? Your favorite, honey cinnamon porridge. Where's the paper? with him. Yeah, what's eating Papa? Oh, nothing really. I just think he got out of the wrong side of bed this morning. Papa was grouchy and you said it was because he got out of the wrong side of the bed? I remember. Well, what side of the bed is the wrong side? <laughs> There's no special side, really. It's just an expression that means starting off the day grouchy, that's all. Oh. Okay. Into bed with you. Good night, Cubs. Good night, Papa. Mama? Yes, dear? Remember what you said about getting out of the wrong side of the bed? Well, how about you? How about me what? Have you ever gotten out of the wrong side of the bed? Oh, of course I have. Everybody gets out of the wrong side of the bed occasionally. Well, good night, dears. Mama, suppose you both got out of the wrong side of the bed on the same morning. What would happen then? Mm. There's no telling what would happen then. That could mean war. Sister, get your dopey feet out of my face. My feet aren't dopey, grouch puss, and they're not in your face. Now hear this. Get your dopey face out of my face. Oh, yeah? Well, you're the one that's dopey, Brother Bear, because while you're sitting there like a clod, I'm getting into the bathroom ahead of you and locking the door. Hey, you can't do that, you little twerp. You unlock this door, you little nerd. If you don't unlock this door... She's singing. We brush our teeth early in the morning. Here she's away. We brush 
Sharhees, Raz Sharhees, Raz Sharhees. If you don't let me in there, you little wet, I'm gonna flatten you out and roll you up like a carpet. Hi, Papa. What in the name of bear country is going on here? Well, you see, Papa... What possible excuse could you have for banging on doors and calling your sister names? Well, see, she put her feet in my face, see, and then, then when I told her not to, she called me Grouch Puss and sneaked into the bathroom ahead of me and locked the door. Then when I asked her to come out, she started to sing and... None of which is any kind of excuse for pounding on doors and calling names. Good morning, Papa dear. It certainly is a lovely day. Good morning, sweetie. Now, why can't you be sweet and cooperative like your sister? Ah! Oh, I'll never speak to her again as long as I live! You got a deal, Buster. Papa dear, will you ask that person beside you for the honey? Hmm. Not speaking. Papa, would you ask that person beside you for the butter? Oh, oh. Hi, brother. Hi, sister. Saved your regular seat for you. I wouldn't sit beside her if she was the last cub on Earth. That goes double for me. Hello, dear. Where's your brother? Brother? I don't know anybody by that name. You'll find milk and cookies on the kitchen table. And afterward, why don't you come outside and play in that nice backyard treehouse you've been working on together? I want to say just one thing. If that other person, who shall be nameless, thinks for one minute He's going to take over my half of this treehouse. He's sadly mistaken. Well, if a certain little twit thinks she's going to take my half of the treehouse, she's even more mistaken. This side of the line is my half. And if a certain loudmouth so much as puts one toe over this line... And this is my half. And if a certain dopey bathroom-hogging twerp so much as... If that certain person thinks I'm gonna leave just because it's raining and leave the whole treehouse to him, he's even dumber than he looks! And if that certain other person thinks I'm gonna leave... Oh, dear, those cubs. Brother? Sister? Don't you know enough to come in out of the rain? Come in here this instant. Go up to your room and dry off before you catch your death of cold. Well, I like that. Some unauthorized person has been using my modeling clay. Oh, it took me a week to make those! Well, what about my jigsaw puzzle that some little twerp has been putting together? You no good rat! I've been working on that puzzle for two whole weeks! What about my clay dinosaurs? I was working on them for a school project! Oh, yeah? Well, my clay is my clay, and you have absolutely no right! I have every right! You're always using my stuff! My skateboard, my hockey stick, my... Never mind about your stuff. You know your sore head. You're the sore head, you little silly nitwit. What I ought to... You just shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Womp, 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 womp! What in the world is going on up there? I want that shouting stop this instant, understand? It's all his fault! He called me names! All my fault! It's all her fault! I don't care whose fault it is. I want this fighting and bickering stop! Stop, you hear? What do you think they see? Family view? I want the noise stop! Stop, you hear? I didn't know you could whistle that loud. Well, I can. And I can also tell you that I've had quite enough of this foolish fighting. 
Why, I don't think you two even remember what you're fighting about. All right, you two. Onto my lap. Now let's settle down and talk about the situation calmly and quietly. Let's talk about how folks get into bad moods once in a while and how one thing leads to another and they get into big, nasty, noisy arguments. Even folks who love each other very much. You and I don't have arguments, my dear. Oh, yes, we do. No, we don't. We're having one right now about whether or not we have arguments. Mm. They get angry. They begin to stomp and shout, say all sorts of things they really don't mean, even call each other bad names. Then after a while, they come to their senses and realize how silly they've been, and the whole thing blows away. You mean it all sort of blows away like the storm? Yes, my dear, like the storm. Hey, gang, look, a rainbow. Yes, a rainbow. You see, a rainbow is something very beautiful that happens after a big storm. You mean like making up after a fight? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Now, why don't you two kiss and make up? Kiss and make up? <laughs> All right, then. Shake hands and make up. Today. Hello, Big Paw going shopping. What's Big Paw doing in town? Whatever he wants to. 97, 98, 99, 100. Hey, hi, Big Paw. Cubs good jump ropers. Thanks, Big Paw. Now, me jump. Gosh, Big Paw, I don't think our ropes are long enough for you. Oh, Cubs not worry. Big Paw get on rope. Ready, go! Officer Marguerite! Big Paul's destroying Bear Town property! That's the least of it! He's destroying Bear Town! Oh, my stars, it's a big one! 5.6 on the Richter scale! Oh, dear me, dear me! The earthquake! Where is it? Earthquake? We've been in the park all morning jumping rope. We didn't notice any earthquake. Big boy jump rope, poof! Big boy jump just like little cubs. Watch! Oh, gracious me! Jumping rope fun! How fancy is that? Your jumping triggered my alarm. Big boy, sorry. Yeah, he didn't mean to scare you, Professor. Oh, I realize that. But since Bear Country lies over the Great Grizzly Fault, it's only natural that the slightest tremor can stimulate earthquake fears. Great Grizzly Fault runs smack dab through the center of Bear Country. You're right, boss. It's smack dab, all right. Smack dab. Yes. The Great Grizzly Fault. An earthquake waiting to happen. Maybe I can hurry it along. Well, so long. Where are you going? Big Paw go back to cave. Me too big and strong for town. Cause too much trouble. That's not true. Your great strength is a national treasure. We need your strong right arm. Big Paw has strong right arm. Strong left arm, too. Attaboy, Big Paw. Come 
on. We'll help you with your shopping. Look, walnuts. Let's get some. That's kind of high for us. Could you shake a few walnuts down for us, Big Paw? Sure, easy for Big Paw. <laughs> Bad Big Paw. We know you didn't do it on purpose. They were out of the soap bubbles, but we got all the other stuff you wanted, Big Paw. Thanks, little cubs. Oh, could you get the door for us? Okay. Oh, Big Paw, sorry. Not mean to slam door so hard. You big clumsy brute! Can't you do anything right? Oh, Big Paw, fix! No, no, no! You, you've done enough! Bear Country's not safe with him around. Yeah! Right! He's a menace! A monster! He wrecks everything! He's an oaf! An animal! Hmm. You look worried, Farmer Ben. Is something wrong? Oh, I'll see. These creeper vines are ruining my apple harvest. There's just too much to pull out. Big Paw pull out creeper vines? You wrecked my whole orchard. The big palookas making everybody angry. <laughs> Playing right into my hands. It'll be a cinch to haul Big Paw into court and convince the jury he's too strong and powerful to live with civilized folk. i will kick him out of bear country, banish him forever. <laughs> ah, yes. This scheme has the touch of genius. No doubt about it. I'm rotten to the core. And it's gonna get me in good with Weasel McGreed. Big Paw's been a thorn in his side for years. Agreed, here. Yeah. State your business. Hi, uh, this is Ralph. Uh, uh, listen, I've come up with this gangbuster scheme. Uh, you're gonna love it. Call me back later. I've got important business to attend to. Important underground business. <laughs> This is it. The Great Grizzly Fault. As soon as I find the weak spot, I'll trigger this fault and cause an earthquake that'll rip their country apart. Yeah, what about us, Weasel's boss? What's the earthquake gonna do to us? Nothing, you fool. All the force will be transmitted upward to the surface. We'll be perfectly safe in our underground quarters. Yeah, if you say so, Chief, you're the evil genius. I'll go down in the Dirty Deeds Hall of Fame. <laughs> of course I'll testify. He wrecked my store, didn't he? Well, me too, by cracky. Turned my orchard into a shambles. Uh, how about you folks? <laughs> Well said. <laughs> uh, count on it, friends. Big Paw has bothered you and interfered with my schemes for the last time. Say, what's this? Big Paw's being called up before the court? He's charged with being too big and powerful to live among civilized folks. It's that raffish Rouse idea. If found guilty, Big Paw could be banished from bear country forever. That's outrageous. The trial's today. Come on, let's see what we can do. <laughs> order in the court. I mean, order in the court. Now, the bear country court is now in session. Proceed with the conviction. Yeah, I mean, the case. May it please the court. I, Raffish Ralph, intend to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt, and indeed will prove, that this overgrown mass of uncontrollable muscle is hazardous to our community and must be banished forever. I found it, the weak spot. When we attack this point, It'll start a chain reaction that'll go right up to the surface and destroy Bear Country forever! <laughs> Thank you. I think we've heard enough. 
Next witness for the prosecution, Grumpy Grizzly! It sure looks bad. Yeah, after Grumpy Grizzly, it's Farmer Ben. And you know how mad he is at Big Paw. All right. X marks the weak spot. Now let's see some weasel power! I said weasel power! Not whip power! I'll try it again! Then it's your testimony, Farmer Ben, that the defendant, Big Paw, maliciously and feloniously destroyed your apple orchard. Great. Thank you. You may step down. That's not true, Your Honor. It wasn't... Deliciously melonious. Well, whatever those words were, sister's right. Yeah, the order in the court. I object. I object. You can object all you want to, Raffish Rouse, but it isn't fair. Yeah, Farmer Ben asked Big Paw to pull out those creepers. You can't send dear old Big Paw away. You'd break his heart. And besides, you never know when Bear Country is gonna need Big Paw. His super strength is a great national treasure. Oh, that Pocky Rod, yeah, 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 yeah Talky Talk, yeah, Poppy Cock. And we'll never need that much muscle. Now let's convict this fellow so we can all go home. I did it! I did it! Great Grizzly Fault! Do Treasure!